to oh, both okay. be single different universes. universes. Yeah, these would be single universes. Um, the difference is in the features of them. So this one has the screen, and it, you can be adjusting the front panel. Uh, versus this one does not. This is a little uh, less expensive. And dead one. <laughs> this is just yeah. This is just a little uh, plugs. Battery power plugs in the, the fixture. Uh, so you can you can also transmit. This can also transmit too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Transmit. So yeah. So just kind of what how much how much capability do you need? So this can transmit to these. You could have this on a fixture somewhere, yep. off where. Oh, so this is battery powered? Yes. Okay. Yep. But you want to Charges with the USB cable. Okay. Yep. Micro so USB. actually if you if your fixture has like a USB, yeah, you can, you can power can use that. it. Yep. Moonlight. Straight up yep. So CRMX is a protocol and you can use maybe like DMX board, that kind of stuff to yeah. use it. So it's just like a transmit protocol. Yeah. So you can actually use uh, like I iPad apps, that kind of stuff. On this one, yes. This one you can you can Bluetooth into it and use a uh, 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 Luminaire. This to oh, transmit yep. to this. Uh, I'm not sure if you can transmit to these two with Luminaire. This one was made for that. Oh, okay. Um, these both have five pin DMX mm -hmm. pins on them, so you can come in that way. This is this has a uh, network pin, yep. so you send like uh, streaming ACN or ARTNET from the console, uh -huh. and then that will send it to these, and then you can take it out, regular DMX out of either one of these as well. Okay. What? Just the the menus to get into it. Yep, all the settings, give it a moment, there you go. From the universe. Yep. Bluetooth. Yeah, so they all, they Bluetooth into the CRMX app. So right there I can see these three here. Uh, Bluetooth on that one is still in process. They're still working on some stuff for that one. So if I have some light fixtures that already have like CRMX built in, so I would just maybe pick up a box and yep. I can just transmit exactly. whatever I want. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I can use it with that too. You could use it with that. You could transmit from that. Yeah. This isn't. This doesn't have the best antenna for transmitting. Oh. It's good for receiving. So you have a good antenna here okay. that's going to really send so out the data. There are no ways to maybe like change the antenna. Not on this one. Okay. On these, yes. On these, you can you can get different antennas for that. Maybe like longer ones. Yeah, higher okay. gain antennas. So yeah, if you wanted, to, if you had a fixture with with, because uh, a lot of times the fixtures, the, the antennas are buried in the fixtures. Not great. Yeah, yeah. I would go with at least one of these, yeah. so you have a nice higher gain antenna. Yeah, maybe you want to upgrade. You can change the higher gain antenna. Yep. So, so you mean like the app you can control everything in the menus so with in the app yeah with the app you can get in here and they can check the settings give it a name let's give it a moment to connect there we go so i can see which universe it's set to i can tell which mode it is is it rx which is receive or transmit so in different universe you cannot just like control another universe stuff so you can just control in a single universe yes that this is a single universe in and out okay so one unit so if you have a fixture that has the built-in you run your data into this and you transmit just that one universe of data from here to that fixture okay or to any other fixtures in that universe i mean like in just one universe a single universe how many maybe like fixture or how many channels it's 512 channels oh, yeah. so just it like on just like dmx yeah yeah uh, yep. okay that's exactly all, all it is. <laughs> yeah so the difference with with that one is that it's eight universes and this one you can get into with the, uh, it has a built-in web server here okay so i can see on this one these are the eight universes wow. and the channels and everything it's doing right here. So if I wanted to take a universe and say, okay, this is the protocol, what number is it, give it a name. So we can have eight universes in this console. 
This one will transmit eight universes. Oh, transmit eight. Yes. So you can uh, control simultaneously eight universe stuff yes. at the same time. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, so you can send this out to eight different literally of those other ones. Oh, okay. That are different universes all over okay. the place. Yeah, yeah. actually. The Just like eight different groups. Yep. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So it has this one has Wi Fi built in, so you could actually Wi Fi and you know, use it as an access point. Okay. The network settings. Uh, yeah, just the general. This will also do old uh, the um, WDMX. You can transmit WDMX, which is the older protocol. Oh, okay. So if you have older fixtures that only take WDMX, you can set this into that mode. Yeah, no. Okay, set do that. Maybe one universe to this. Or yeah, if it's in YouTube. if it is in WDMX, then it only cool. transmits. Uh, Thank you. The best way to go is to get. Like, it it only do four universes. Oh, okay. Oh, I hit save, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> but it only do four universes in WDMX. Mm. Okay. So you can change the output power on this yep. this, this unit. And how about those two? Those I don't know if you can change the output power on those yet. You like. <laughs> Just curious. I don't believe you can. Let's just see. <laughs> no. Yeah, damn new. What's the output power? <laughs> I don't know that off the top of my head. Sean is the guy to ask who's just here and just wandered off. Um, most likely, if these are still, they're still updating firmware on these things too. So if they can do it, they will make it adjustable. Okay. Yeah. And it'll probably be something in the app here to adjust. <laughs> So you can adjust all the settings. I can adjust not like all the settings, all some of the settings. Some of them. Yeah. Like in the Luna here, there aren't a whole lot of settings. Just changing the modes. Yep. In the, uh, the Aurora there, let's see if I can connect to it. It's been acting up for me right now, so. Aurora. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Come on. <laughs> Work with me here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's right. So yeah, they don't have they don't have Apple Power in this yeah. one. I'm pretty sure I saw Apple Power. Yeah, you know, all the time posts and stuff, you can try it everywhere. I think it's JR's having retired. He's letting his daughter run the business. He also needs Which is good. Good for him. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, right? Like, it's better for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> But really, if you're getting into situations where you need a lot more power, you're probably going to want something like this. Yeah, I mean, maybe like huge places. Yeah. You want to use this, but maybe like small sets. You just yeah. like. You can do a lot with changing antennas too. Okay. Even without changing power. <laughs> so it's running at which band? Maybe like five gigahertz, not. It's all in the Wi-Fi spectrum, oh, it's, but it's, it, it's wider than standard Wi-Fi. Okay. So it uses up to channel 13, which no. standard Wi-Fi only stops at 11. Mm -hmm. So it, and it's frequency hopping, so it's always looking for changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Sure. Yeah, you're welcome. Need to scan this batch? No. Or I don't, never mind. I like. I don't have a scanner. He can scan it. Would you like to scan? Can, sure. Okay. Hey, Eric. Yeah. Can you scan? Yes. Where is it? Can you throw this out? Right back. Okay. What okay. are you interested in? Man, I'm just looking at it for the radio, radio okay. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah, you're okay. welcome.